Hey, what's up everybody? It's Mr. Boylan back for one more practice video when it comes to drawing electron configurations in orbital notation. This time we're going to do sodium. I head to my periodic table. I notice that sodium has an atomic number 11, which means that in a neutral atom of sodium, it will also have 11 electrons. I'm going to head to my orbital periodic table. I like the element that I'm looking to solve for, in this case, sodium. I'm always going to begin at the very top of my periodic table and just move through the rows until I reach the element I'm working with. So the first orbital that I'm going to put some electrons in is the 1s orbital. And I can fit two electrons in that orbital. But remember, sodium has 11 electrons, and they're not all going to fit in that 1s orbital. Where to next? Second main energy level. But in the second main energy level, I actually have two types of sublevels. I have the 2s sublevel and the 2p sublevel. Remember, the 2p sublevel is made up of three p orbitals. Now, in the 2s orbital, I can once again fit two electrons. Again, one facing up, one facing down. Opposite spins. I get to the 2p orbitals, and here you have to be very careful. Notice I'm going to fill them one at a time in each of those equal energy 2p orbitals. Then I'm going to come back and fill them with the second electron. And it's important that you get in the habit of filling those orbitals in that order. Huns rule. Okay, that's taken care of 10 electrons. But remember, neutral atoms of sodium have 11, so you got to keep going. This time, 3s. Even though my 3s orbital can fit two electrons, I'm going to stop after just adding one because we're writing the electron configuration for a neutral atom of sodium, which only has 11 electrons. Again, what does this look like? How can you better visualize it using this simulation? Always going to start with the 1s. I can fit two electrons. After the 1s comes the 2s. Again, I can fit two electrons. After the 2s comes the 2p. And there are three 2p orbitals. Again, watch how I fill it. According to Hund's rule, I'm going to put one in each individual orbital before I go back and put a second. Once those three 2p orbitals are filled, I'm going to move on to the 3s. And here I'll add sodium's final electron. Now, if we're looking to do quantum numbers, we'll do four quantum numbers for this electron here. It's in the third main energy level. It's an S-shaped orbital. So its angular momentum quantum number is zero. Its magnetic quantum number, or orientation, is also zero. First electron that's in there, so it's going to have a positive one-half spin value. Okay, and that's it for this video. We'll practice this a lot in class. Get ready.